Hey guys, so I'm making this tutorial on foliage brushes and uh, I will make three foliage brushes. We only going to use the uh, hard edge round brush. So if you want, uh, feel free to follow along. So what you are going to do is create a new layer and just let's zoom in and just create some some random strokes like this it doesn't necessarily have to look like this just have the same feeling okay something like this is okay so the canvas size is uh, 3000 pixels, let's enlarge this to fit the canvas and we go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur and we apply blur, something like, like this should work. Then we go to edit, define brush preset and hit OK. So this is what we got now. Let's create a new layer so we can test our brush. We open up the brush palette by pressing F5 or you can go to window and brush. And let's see the brush tip shape. We increase the spacing Let's put around 25. Uh, the shape dynamics. We want this on temp pressure. And increase the minimum diameter. To around 40 or 45. Let's see. Let's put this around 25, then go around 70, 20 is okay. Hmm. Let's, let's leave it on 12. So flip Y jitter. and we just leave this here okay let's see scattering let's increase the scattering uh, the count is good at two this is a bit too high let's see pen pressure let's leave it on pen tilt like this Let's see what, what it does. Yeah, it's okay. Let's move forward. Texture. Let's choose a texture like nature patterns or something. Subtract. This works. You can choose from here or you can put whatever texture you want, but I feel like this works for me right now. So let's let's move to the color dynamics because we are painting uh, foliage, so we would need some few jitter here. Open up this color wheel, test out some stuff. There. Let's add some saturation, just a little bit and a little bit of brightness. So something's not right here. Yeah, it's probably the foreground background. Yeah. So the hue a bit lower, like this. Okay. Let's see. So we paint something like this. 
yeah we are almost there let's add some transfer to it uh, and add add the flow to pen pressure and this yeah. let's increase the minimum a bit Yeah, this works pretty well, so you can create brush uh, bushes with this, like this. Basically what you do is first lay out the, the outline and the contour of it, or the shape, and then you just pick a color that is brighter and start adding in the, the highlights. I feel like this this works okay for painting foliage and it's pretty simple to make. So let's move forward for our next brush. So let's make the second brush. The second brush will be uh, will be created with the round brush too, so it's it's simple. This will be the kind of foliage that is hanging down on the side of the buildings, if you know what I mean. It's the, the flowing kind of foliage. So, let's see. Create some shapes. Let's zoom in. Create some, some shapes which will represent the the leaves of the foliage it doesn't need to be very nice just some random shapes like this let's connect them together You can create your own shape here, or you can create more than one shape and uh, try with which one is better. Let's add some more here, like this. Okay, let's let's see with this one. Again, let's enlarge it. Blur. Go from blur. Let's put six point six point five. Edit. Define brush preset, and we have this. So a new layer, so we can test it out. Uh, let's open up the brush uh, panel and increase the spacing to about 50%. Shape dynamics, pen pressure is great. Angle. Let's put an angle of ten. 
direction make sure that the, the angle is on direction because uh, we need that in order uh, to the flow to be directional like this you see so everything else is okay let's go to scattering and uh, let's put the scattering around 250 it's okay 252 the count 2 is okay and the count jitter 100% is, is nice uh, we don't need any transfer here but we want to apply a texture let's add uh, some grass texture Nature. Color dodge. It's not bad. I think that any kind of texture works as long as it has some some texture to it, and it's it's a bit more interesting. It's not so um, digitalized and plain. So let's add the dual brush to. Use use this one because this one works well. Let's see. Let's choose. A dark green color like this and let's add a brighter color Something like this so this is the kind of foliage I'm talking about maybe we should decrease the scattering a bit like this and this so this works well for like post apocalyptic effects when the the nature has taken over like the urban environments and stuff like that so yeah you can you can experiment with it further I think scattering might be a bit too high or count a bit too low yeah some something like this something like this so the, the effect changes a lot uh, according to the shape you use initially it can come out better and worse the one I created previously for some reason I liked it better so I'll upload that one for you to download but maybe the one you create will look uh, even better than that one so uh, yeah, just just experiment and uh, see what works for you. Let's uh, move ahead for the next one. So the third and final one will be um, for painting really thick foliage, like the really bushy trees and the thick forests. Uh, we can start out by choosing a brush like this these are the default brushes by the way so you can find them in photoshop and just 
start to create some random shapes like this like the edge of a really really dense uh, forest or something like really dense foliage I'll even increase the spacing a bit here. Just to just to move a bit faster. And make a cross right like this. So the process is faster. Scattering is, is a bit too high. So again, it doesn't need to look exactly like this. It's the shape of it uh, doesn't matter as much it just has to look like the edge of a really dense uh, foliage or, or something like this let's create a new layer above it and uh, make a gradient a white gradient starting from the bottom and going to the top this is for once we created our brush uh, to be easily blendable so it blends really nicely with the foliage because it if it has a harsh edge like this then it will show so we want to make it uh, the transition we want to make it as smooth as possible let's apply a blur to it again a Gaussian blur I'm applying it on the wrong layer so let's just merge these two together and something like this a 5 or 5.1 works ok edit define brush preset and uh, make some adjustments to it see what happens here ok choose our color Shape dynamics uh, give it a bit of an angle. Turn on the direction. Um, give it a flip. Yeah, that works all right. So. Let's try some scattering, but not too much. No, scattering doesn't work, so... A bit of a texture you can add. Here, let's add some foliage texture to this too. Like this. Okay a bit of a color dynamics 
like this. See the brightness? Too much, too much, just a little bit. Something like this. Let's add some noise to it because there are like little leaves in the distance there. And uh, try transfer. This, let's put this on tilt. And let's push, put this on pamp. No. Well, there is something wrong with this texture. It's too too large. Okay, yeah. So something like this should work. Let's erase this and let's start painting some Sorry I got a bit carried away with uh, doing this brush, but uh, basically uh, this, is, this is how I would use the dance brush, like, uh, like you can see here, something like this, you know, to represent foliage, and uh, as you get closer and closer you inc increase the, the size of the brush so this painting obviously could be a bit better but uh, i just tried to demonstrate the use of of um, of this brush so i hope you enjoyed this and uh, as you can see there is no like um, Nothing set in stone when you are uh, creating a brush. You have to just experiment with it and see if it creates the effect you are going for or you have to tweak it a bit further. So, uh, yeah, I hope you like this and uh, if you like this, let me know. If you didn't like it, let me know why you didn't like it and uh, I'll try to correct if I made some mistakes here and uh, yeah so until next time take care bye bye